Mrs. O'Bannon, I first want to say how sorry I am to hear of the death of your husband. The reason you are here is that I feel somewhat responsible. You feel somewhat responsible? The men who killed your husband were sent to kill a man named Barry Kimmelman, or Diamond, or Lincoln, whatever name he changed it to. This was not my sanction. I did not hire these men. It was a mistake. A mistake? You're calling it a mistake? It was a murder, a cold-blooded murder. I am aware of that, Polly, but it was not a planned death. It was a mistake, a moment of indiscretion. But if you want some sort of retribution, I will say we have taken care of that for you. The men who killed your husband and tried to kill you are now both dead. I hope you will accept my apology. And I assure you, Barry Kimmelman was a threat to our society. The world is better off without him. Well, the world may be better off without him, but it's certainly not a better place without my son and my husband. This man who killed my husband, he may still be out there for all I know. I've been lied to before. I have absolutely no reason to trust you. You call that retribution? That's you just cleaning up your dirt. That wasn't for me. That was for you. You're just going around tying up loose ends. Hey, guess what? I'm a loose end too. What do you want to do? You're going to kill me also? Let her go, Jules. What is it you want from me, Mrs. O'Bannon? I don't plan on killing you, but we should have some sort of closure. We can move on from here. I am willing to deliver to you anything you desire. Compromise, huh? Do you know what a compromise is? My husband and I made a compromise in the death of our son. We don't believe in cremation because ash isn't accepted into the ground. The body is host to the spirit, so only the body is accepted into the soil. We decided to cremate my son because we couldn't find his head. I don't understand. Jack and I made a compromise with God. We thought God would understand that we had him cremated. Well, now I'm figuring, hey, I can make a deal with God. I can make a deal with any man. Do you have unlimited access to information? Not unlimited, but more than most. Okay. There's something I want you to do for me. There's a man named W.W. Tolliver. He is responsible for the death of my son. I want you to do this one thing for me. Ms. O'Bannon, I will not sanction the death of anyone for you. This is not acceptable. I don't want him whacked. I just want to see him on national television being carted off to prison, which is exactly where he belongs. You'll do this one thing for me. W. W. Tolliver. That is our compromise. Oh, okay. Well, if we're done here, I guess I'll go home and bury my husband. 